The Ford P1000 code is a manufacturer-specific diagnostic trouble code that indicates your vehicle's OBD2 readiness monitors have not completed their self-diagnostic cycles. This code is particularly common in Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. It's important to understand that P1000 is not indicating a malfunction in your vehicle. The P1000 code simply means that your vehicle's diagnostic systems haven't finished running their self-tests. It doesn't indicate that any components are broken, but it will prevent you from passing an emissions test. Your Ford vehicle monitors multiple systems through readiness monitors. The catalyst monitor checks that your catalytic converter is working properly to reduce harmful emissions. The evaporative emission system monitor, or EVAP monitor, checks for fuel vapor leaks in your fuel tank and associated components. The oxygen sensor monitor verifies that your oxygen sensors are accurately measuring exhaust gases to optimize fuel mixture and reduce emissions. Ford vehicles typically monitor eight to 11 different systems, including the fuel system, misfire detection, EGR system, secondary air system, and comprehensive component monitors. Each monitor requires specific driving conditions to complete its diagnostic cycle. The engine must reach operating temperature, and you need a combination of city and highway driving with various throttle positions and sustained periods at specific conditions. Understanding the P1000 code is the first step to resolving it. Once you complete the proper drive cycles that allow these monitors to run their diagnostics, the P1000 code will clear and you'll be able to pass your emissions test. The most effective way to clear the Ford P1000 code is by completing a comprehensive drive cycle. This systematic approach allows all readiness monitors to complete their self-diagnostic tests. Before starting the drive cycle, ensure two critical prerequisites are met. First, your fuel tank must be between one quarter and three quarters full. Second, verify that no other diagnostic trouble codes are present in the system. Phase one begins with a cold start. Start your engine and let it idle for two to three minutes. This allows the engine to reach initial operating temperature and begins the monitor initialization process. Next, drive at 20 to 30 miles per hour for three to five minutes. This moderate speed allows the oxygen sensors and fuel system monitors to begin their diagnostic routines. After the low speed driving, stop and idle for 30 seconds. This brief pause allows the system to process the data collected during the previous phase. Phase three involves highway driving at a steady 45 to 60 miles per hour for five to 10 minutes. This sustained higher speed is crucial for completing the catalyst and evaporative emission monitors. Next, decelerate from highway speed down to 20 miles per hour without using the brakes. This coasting deceleration is important for the fuel system and oxygen sensor monitors to complete their tests. The final phase simulates city driving conditions. Alternate between 25 and 45 miles per hour for 10 minutes, including several stops and starts. Idle for two to three minutes between driving cycles to allow the system to process the collected data. Completing this comprehensive drive cycle allows all readiness monitors to finish their diagnostic tests. The P1000 code should clear automatically once the system confirms that all monitors have successfully completed their self-diagnostic routines.